Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn. In today's episode, uh, we're talking about the Chicago Bears versus Philadelphia Eagles Week 12 matchup based on analytics. Each week, I collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, there's always going to be some variation between various data points. However, there's always going to be little nuggets of truth that could become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So starting with this matchup between the Bears and the Eagles. Uh, when you look at the NFL stat basic comparison data, and basic comparison data essentially is looking at how the offense is doing, how the defense is doing, and of course how the special teams is doing on a macro level. So just giving you some insights into how those units are working individually and then of course combined. And combined, you know, taking everything into account, uh, the Eagles are heavily favored in this football game. Uh, which should not be surprising. Uh, but let's get to some reasons why. Uh, first off, the Eagles are favored because they have the superior offense. Great when it comes to turnover ratio. The, the Eagles offense doesn't turn the football over that much. Uh, they don't allow as many sacks as the Bears do, though that is something that I think the Eagles could improve upon. That's like a part of their offense that is a little inefficient. And the biggest key is offensive score percentage. Uh, the Eagles are just able to score uh, more often uh, on a consistent basis in the Bears' offense. So offensively, just pretty much goes to the Eagles there. Uh, then when you get to the defensive side of the football, the Eagles are also pretty favored. Uh, when it comes to defensive offensive score percentage, the Eagles have it over the Bears in that regard. So the Bears are better at, at preventing points uh, compared to the to the uh, the Bears. Uh, the Eagles also are better when it comes to turnovers and interceptions. And the Bears do have the, the advantage when it comes to sacks, but it hasn't exactly helped them out that much in terms of preventing points. Um, so offensively speaking, the Eagles are advantage. Defensively, the Eagles are advantage as well. And then when you get to special teams data, uh, punt return yardage favors the Eagles, kick return yardage favors the Bears. Defensive punt return yardage favors the Eagles. Defensive kick return yardage favors the Eagles. Field goal percentage favors the Eagles. Extra point percentage favors the Bears. And then punting average favors the Bears. Special teams is a little bit more up and down. I would say it's kind of even between these two teams when it comes to special teams. But I do like to give the edge to the Eagles because of their field goal percentage. Even though their field goal percentage is not amazing. I mean it's average but it is better than what the Bears are currently when it comes to them. So basically, just to wrap it up with the, the macro data, uh, the Eagles are superior when it comes to offense, superior when it comes to defense, and have a slight edge when it comes to special teams. And, and all those things combined give the Eagles a very, very high score uh, when you take everything into account. Now when you get to some micro data, so we're getting into some things like completion percentage data, uh, down and distance, different types of down and distance data. Uh, when you look at the Bears offense versus Eagles defense, the Eagles are favored on first and third down. Then you get to the Eagles offense versus the Bears defense. And in this, this area, I actually would say it's pretty even. Uh, the Eagles will have a big advantage on, on third down, but... This has been a consistent theme with the Eagles, and I'm not hating on them at all, but first down, second down situations, they're not the most, they're not that efficient. They're not very efficient with passing the football in those situations. And I think if they can improve that area, I think the offense can be even better. If they can just kind of tweak and just hopefully improve this week after week. Then of course we get to rushing downs. This is the Bears rushing offense versus the Eagles rushing defense. And in this way, I would say the Bears have the advantage on second and third down. Uh, the Eagles' defense does pretty well at preventing first downs with the run on first down, but they 
tend to break a bit when it comes to second and third. So I think that's kind of how this game's going to go, is the Bears won't have a lot of success on first down running the football, but they should be able to break them down a bit on second and third. Then when you get to the Eagles offense versus Bears defense when it comes to rushing downs, and in this area the Bears are favored on second and third down. Then we get to passing downs, Bears offense versus Eagles defense, and the Eagles are favored on first and third down. Then we get to the Eagles offense versus Bears defense, uh, where the Eagles offense are favored on second and third down. Then we get to sack rate, uh, Bears offense versus Eagles defense, the Eagles are favored on first and second down. Then we get to the sack rate for the Eagles offense versus Bears defense, where honestly this is actually pretty even. Uh, pretty even on third down, pretty even on second down, and the Bears have a slight advantage on first down, but very very slight most of the sacks that the Bears are able to generate come on second and third down and those are the downs where the Eagles do pretty well at not allowing sacks so that's going to be a key matchup to kind of see who wins out because of that kind of disparity then we get to the interception ratio of the Bears offense versus Eagles defense uh, the Eagles are favored here on second and third down so I do expect at least some picks in this game for the Eagles and then finally we get to the Eagles offense versus Bears defense uh, where the Eagles are favored on first, second, and third down. Uh, most of the interceptions that the Bears force come on third down situations, uh, which is also where, where Carson Wentz doesn't really throw that many picks. Uh, most of his interceptions come on second down situations. So, uh, so overall, my general feelings on this game, uh, I think it's an Eagles victory. I think when you look at the overall data and scheme and the way things are kind of looking right now you just kind of come away going yeah i mean the bears are not the best team uh overall i would say one thing though as you saw in the data the bears are good at getting sacks the eagles are not that great in terms of not allowing sacks so that would be one matchup to kind of keep track of is if the eagles can if the Eagles allow a lot of sacks, if, if they allow the Bears to get into the backfield, get a lot of pressure, stuff like that, then there could be some potential for some good things to happen. But the Bears offense would have to be fundamentally different than what it's been in, in the last, the, over the last year even, uh, because there just is not that spark on, on the passing offense, the rushing offense, does work I, I mean I, I will give the Bears props there that I, they do have at least sort of average to a little bit above average rushing offense but that's just not enough to win football games consistently uh, it's just not enough so overall I have to go with the Eagles here and of course uh, my name is James Coburn you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com you can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics and if you like this content and you want more content like this be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.